Ah, this is Brooklyn, St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics, and this is Ask the Aquaponics God. Preventing you from becoming a biscuit headache grower. Today, high class growers, we're gonna be talking a little bit about energy consumption with your aquaponics system. How much does it cost to run an aquaponics system? I got a question from my girl, Victoria. Shout out to you, how you doing out there? Victoria wants to know how much does it cost to run one of these aquaponics systems? She's trying to build one, wanna put one together, and she wants to know what she can expect when she gets and indulges herself into the aquaponic method of farming. So that's what we're gonna touch, into right, uh, touch on right now. So before I jump in there, I wanna thank you guys for liking the video, subscribing to the channel. You guys are wonderful, magnificent, awesome and everything else right so let's jump into it right now and see what we got going on here it says dear brooklyn good day thank you for your message i'm investigating how to install a small slash medium scale aquaponics system in a community garden which should be powered by solar panels and energy to be stored in a battery looks like you're trying to go off the grid victoria that's a hot way to do it eventually that's where i want to end up going off the grid i love the concept love the freedom and autonomy and it just works the independence is something that's right up my alley so kudos to you on that it says i would like to know how much power is required to run an aquaponic system could you kindly let me have some guidance look forward to your reply many thanks best regards all right so Victoria, this is how we're gonna get into this right now. So this is an important question for people to understand so you know what you can expect on a monthly basis on what you have to pay. Because aquaponics, it does require some type of money uh, investment on a monthly basis. You do have to pay, right? You're paying for the convenience of having um, technology pretty much grow your vegetables for you, opposed to being out there digging in the dirt and you having to do all the work, right? So you have to pay something for it as an exchange, right? In exchange for money, in exchange for your time. So what you're gonna have to uh, consider is a few factors. One of the factors is you're gonna have to know which appliances you're gonna be using for your aquaponic system. You're gonna need to know how many, uh, uh, what's the power outage or output from those appliances in wattage, you know, in watts. You're also gonna to need to know how long or how many hours per day you're gonna be running those appliances. And lastly, what you're gonna to need to know is the cost that your, um, your energy company is gonna charge per kilowatt hour. You see, so when you have those numbers, then you're able to understand and get a, you know, an approximation on what your cost could be monthly. So I'll give you an example here on the high class grower floating raft system, I'll break down what it costs to run this per month. So like I said, you're gonna to need to know the appliances. In this system, the appliances that we're working with, a water pump, we have a UV sterilizer, we also have a regenerative blower, right? So starting with the water pump, the water pump is gonna require, or it requires, or it puts out 120 watts right the amount of hours that is running per day is 24 hours so it's always running the energy company charges me approximately nine cents per kilowatt hour now it varies depending on how many kilowatt hours i use if it's under a thousand then the charge is around 7.5 cents over a thousand then it starts to move you into a different category which charges around 9.2 cents so i just say nine just to make it easy so roughly nine cents per kilowatt hour. So per month, when you break down this charge, 120 um, watts at 24 hours, nine cents per kilowatt hours, that's roughly around $7.77 to run this per month, right? And you guys can check, go do a Google um, check, look for an online energy cost calculator and you'll be able to input your your data and find your um, your numbers and get your values. The UV sterilizer, that's running off of 51 watts, right? 24 hours a day, 
uh, nine cents per kilowatt hour. What that breaks down to is about three dollars and thirty cents per month to run that. Right, three dollars and thirty cents. Now we have the regenerative blower. This right here costs the most out of all the appliances that are on this aquaponic system. This is running at 330 watts, right? 24 hours a day, nine cents per kilowatt hour, which breaks down to about $21.38 per month, right? That's the breakdown on that. So collectively, when you put all three of these appliances together, we're talking about $32.45 approximately per month is what the cost is to run this aquaponic system. This is a small aquaponic system. Now, an aquaponic system this size, don't let it deceive you. This system here is gonna be more than what the majority of you guys need if you're gonna be growing, you know, strictly leafy greens. You know, um, bok choy, kale, Swiss chard, uh, mustard greens, rosy, um, you know, things of that nature, um, even cilantro. You can add, which is an herb, but you can add that in there. It still can be grown. And this right here can produce 25 of those leafy greens per week when you have your schedules right and you're uh, properly planning. So 25 vegetables a week, that's more than enough for any of you guys out there. For the majority, I should say. This is more, more than enough for me, especially when it's all, um, all planted. And I know none of you guys eat more vegetables than me. And when it's planted and all, the, you know, all together, I can't even keep up with the amount of vegetables that come out of here. So don't let the size of it deceive you, right? A small aquaponics is something, a system is what most of you guys probably end up needing. Nothing too large. Now, if you want to start producing fruiting crops and stuff like that, then we're going to go, if you want your fruiting crops and leafy greens, you know, in abundance, then you're going to want to go, you know, bigger than this. Maybe two, three times the size of this. But this is a small aquaponics system. So $32.45 a month. And you have and look at it like this. This is basically an employee, right? The the appliances, the water pump, that's mix that's ensuring that all your plant roots are getting access to nutrients, water, your regenerative blower, that's providing oxygen in your system, right? It's aerating the water, right? The UV sterilizer is uh, reducing the amount of bacteria, harmful bacteria and reducing disease and algae. So these are like employees. That's how I view it. It's like an employee. Otherwise, you'd have to be out there, you know, manually doing this. So $32.45 per month for an employee that works 24 hours a day, that's what you got to take into consideration. That's, you know, the trade-off what you're dealing with when we're, when we're dealing with aquaponics. So look at it that way, right? So with that being said, I hope this helps you out. Um, I hope that you have now got an idea on what it would cost to run an aquaponic system and that you can input your numbers in there. Look for the wattage, you know, the watts on a pump or on any of the appliances that you're going to use. Input them in here in one of these online cost calculators and then um, you, it'll give you an idea and a rough estimate on what it is that you're going to be working with on a monthly basis. So if any of you guys out there have other questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. I appreciate you guys once again for uh, tuning in, liking the video, subscribing to the channel. I absolutely appreciate you guys out there. Um, make sure if you, if you guys need more help, go to the school of aquaponics.com, enroll in Aquaponics Paradise, click on the link below to get you a free aquaponics starter guide and get growing with the best of them out there. Right, so until next time, this is Brooklyn St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics reminding you to stop walking and get you a car.